Kobolds are little dragon people made to mine gemstones for dragons. When they don't have a dragon to worship as a demigod, large tribes are fairly peaceful. They're raised communally, love mining, and most are happy to do whatever they can to make the tribe prosper. New tribes will often raid other species to establish themselves, but they sometimes work with cities to build or maintain sewer systems, as long as the city follows the three basic rules of interacting with kobolds. Do not insult them, they're petty and hold long grudges. Do not look down on them, they know they're weak and resent it. And in most worlds, do not be a gnome. The gnome god imprisoned theirs as a prank and again, grudges. As far as stats go, kobolds aren't much to write home about. They're intelligent for their CR, but unobservant and very frail. They're not hard to hit, and they don't hit hard, but their pack tactics grant advantage as long as their ally is near a target. This works for ranged attacks too, so if they're forced to fight, a few will run forward while the rest pelt you the rocks. When the allies start to fall, they'll retreat and regroup if possible. If the tribe is on the line though, they will fight to the death without hesitation. But the second the tribe is safe, they go back to being cowards. This is all assuming you get to them though, as they make up for their weaknesses with fortified lairs where every surface can kill you. Walls filled with holes to shoot through, falling rocks, pits of snakes, they're clever and one intruder's dead, so watch out. Their standard tactic is just retreating through mines until something else kills you, but they will turn and fight if it helps the tribe. This goes double if they're religious, their god promises to reincarnate them with powers if they die for the cause, and as a weasel if they don't. That's your standard kobold, but they come in every flavor of the gnome-hating rainbow. Especially clever kobolds might make mobile traps like throwing slimes and sacks of bees. Not particularly complicated, but effective. They also tend to be a lot more resilient and observant. I mean, you're facing the ones who survived making all that acid and kidnapping all those wasps. Others are born with dragon wings. They're commonly called urds. Many see them as a gift and proof of their dragon blood, but they're still shunned out of envy. I'd argue their biggest gift though is actually just being really accurate with rocks. A few are born with dragon resistances, or granted them as a boon. They're champions known as dragon shields, they have shields made of dragon scale, it's not actually complicated. They resist elements and rally their fellows against fear. They're armored and they can take a hit, but they can't do much back without allies. Unlike the most dangerous type of kobold, the steady stream of sorcerers their draconic blood spawns. Their chromatic bolts make them the hardest hitting in their CR, they have plenty of utility with spells like Levitate and Fog Cloud, they're fairly accurate, they even have good natural armor and enough health to take a hit. Of all the kobolds skittering through the mines, this is the one to watch out for. Overall, if you want to survive, just keep your eyes out for traps, always assume they have another trick up their sleeve, and maybe leave your gnomes at home. That's all for today's lesson, let me know if you liked it and subscribe for more courses below. Class dismissed!